Today, guys, I'm gonna go over some of the biggest fragrance wearing don'ts or mistakes that a lot of guys are making. Number one is applying it to dry skin. Guys, you gotta make sure if you want that fragrance to project as amazing as possible that you're not spraying it on dry skin because when your skin is dry, it's actually going to soak into your body as opposed to sitting on top of the skin and projecting. And so, a good rule of thumb is to actually moisturize. But you gotta make sure that that moisturizer is fragrance free, all right? If that moisturizer has an odor or an aroma, guys, it's not gonna work because it's going to actually mix with your fragrance and pollute and pervert the scent. Another pro tip, guys, we've talked about it before. A small dab of Vaseline on top of your pulse point. Boom, spray your fragrance is a great way to actually make that fragrance last longer and sit on top of the skin. The petroleum jelly actually prevents the fragrance from soaking in, making it last 10 times longer. The next fragrance wear and don't, don't spray it in the wrong spot, which is so incredibly common, right? Few things. Number one is your balls. Don't spray fragrance on your balls. It's musky, it's meaty, it's manliness down there, right? And you think, I know because I've thought it, I've even tried it, right? Oh, it's gonna make my balls smell like the fragrance. No, it smells like man musk with your fragrance. It also doesn't taste good. If you know what I'm, you, you know what I'm saying. Balls should be powdered, bodies should be fragranced, all right? So make sure you're using a high quality non-talc based powder on your balls, right? Also your booty, which is another place you should never spray your fragrance. Don't spray it in your butt. Don't, just don't, don't. Your wrist is another place that you should not spray fragrance. And this one I know blows a lot of minds. They're like, wait a second, I thought it was a pulse point. It is, but it's a bad one. The reason is because your wrist is away from people's face. If you want them to smell you, you gotta keep that fragrance up close to their face. And so a wrist, a terrible place, a better option. Neck, one here, one here, possibly behind the ear, but do not spray it in your hair or else the alcohol will actually dry your hair. The next mistake is don't think that you've gotta spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars in order to smell incredible. Guys, one of the mistakes that I used to make is thinking, yo, I gotta buy and spend 350 bucks to smell incredible, which is why I actually developed Rebel and the fragrances of Pete and Pedro because I wanted to smell incredible, but I didn't wanna have to spend a ton of cash. And right now, I want you to smell amazing for free. Let me explain. Right now, for a limited time, for those of you who hit that special link down below, I am giving you a free full-size Pete and Pedro fragrance free. Gentlemen, I am giving you a full-size fragrance for free for those of you who spend $50 right now at Pete and Pedro. All the information is gonna be linked down below on a special landing page. You gotta go through the page in order to grab the deal. All five of the incredible Pete and Pedro EDP fragrances are highly, heavily inspired by some of the most amazing fragrances on the market. Villain and Legend are inspired by Tom Ford fragrances. Tobacco Vanille and Epping Fabulous. Both are amazing, but if you want light, set Sexy freshness, gentlemen, you gotta check out Hero. Inspired by Aqua De Joe Performo, except ours lasts longer and projects better, and in my opinion, smells a little bit sexier. Or the other two, Big Boys, the bangers, gentlemen. King, inspired by Creed, Green Irish Tweed, and Rebel, inspired by Creed Aventus, my all-time favorite fragrance. Whichever one you wanna grab, guys, it is free if you spend $50. So basically, spend 50, get 50 free. All the information will be linked and listed down below. You gotta go through the link in order to grab the discount codes. Bottom line is you will smell amazing. The mist is a huge miss in terms of you smelling incredible. Because the mist, it doesn't work. It's all about concentration. When you spray a fragrance, guys, you wanna make sure it's in one area so that it hangs out. When you mist, right, it all falls all over the place and it gives you a nice lukewarm covering all over your clothes, which is actually another don't. Gentlemen, don't spray it directly on your clothes. Never spray your fragrance directly on your clothes, all right? You want it to be on your skin so that it can actually heat up and project, all right? Now, in terms of it damaging your clothes, I've heard people say, Say, oh, it's gonna damage your clothes. I've literally sprayed it on clothes that haven't gotten damaged, but if you are using a cologne that does have a high percentage of oils in it, it is going to increase the risk of it actually staining if you're spraying it on something like suede, leather, silk, or some type of nice fabric. The next fragrance wear and don't is a big one, is don't wear the same fragrance all the time, right? You gotta make sure you're rotating the fragrance to keep people guessing, right? Even if you find a scent that is incredible that you've gotten compliments on, it's important to find a few of them and rotate them. Whether or not it's monthly, it's weekly, it's daily, just rotate. Don't wear the same thing every day. And the last fragrance wear and don't is don't wear too much, right? Even though in your head you're like, yo, if three squirts smells great, then five squirts must smell amazing. Remember, less is more. Overpowering fragrance or scent is just as offensive as bad body odor or stinky ass breath. Three squirts is the optimal ideal amount in my humble opinion. Now for me, my three pulse points, one here, one here, and I'll also do an upper chest shot. 
want, just to give my chest a little extra juice and to make the people around me be like, damn, you smell amazing. Now hit that link down below and grab a free fragrance.